So we're gonna go through just like I said the my kind of pre-departure checklist. Um, this is this is something I do every morning. I don't do it every time I fire the motor. Like say you guys cruise and just go have lunch. I'm not gonna run through this entire check again, but I like to do it every morning just to run through, check fluids. Every morning check. that you're going to take the boat out. Right. right. Yeah. If you're going to stay, you don't have to right. Right. check all this. All right. Just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> um, so first thing, most important, is to make sure your seacock is open. Yes. So now you have, you have well, you have multiple through holes because you have gen and air, but you have one solely for the engine. Mm -hmm. So your seacock right here is just for your raw water strainer for the engine. Yes. So open right, it's open now to shut it. You just flip that lever down. Yes. Same as uh, same as before. Um, Except it's more substantial. A little bit bigger hose. Yeah. yeah, you need more water for this engine. Yeah. So seacock open. I always like to make sure my strainer cap is just on tight. Um, if you look from where you're at, you can actually see the bottom of the strainer. Mm -hmm. uh, it has the clear bowl on the bottom side versus the top. Right. Um, so if you ever check for debris, I always look here when the engine's running. If there is debris, shut down the seacock, and then you can straight take this cap off. It's kind of has a basket on it. Basket. Yeah. Right. We'll do it real quick. So shut, and then this guy will unscrew. And then this basket will come out, and then whatever is in there is just going to catch in the basket. And then this does have little grooves there on the bottom. You just want to line it up. Okay. 